Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be doing a project life spread from 2021 and I am going to be using Ali Edwards March stories by the month kit. So I just want to quickly show you all the pieces of this kit. You can see that they are full of springtime colors, which are just beautiful. And I'm actually going to be using this in January, so I'm not going to be do using it in spring, but I just really want to show you guys how versatile these kits can be. This kit includes also some brads, which is really fun. I have not seen them include brads before, so this is kind of a brass heart metal brad. And then wood veneer uh, shapes that she had in her kits last year as well. So it's just fun to see them including different pieces um, in these kits. Let's see if I can get them out. So they are very delicate, some of them. So just be careful as you're using them. These I think are great to color with ink and paint. Um, Distress inks work really great with this as well. Or I should say the oxide inks work really well with these. So I'm going to set those aside just off camera. And also what I have on my desk is my photos. So let me just move these things aside. So it's actually been fun for me. I've only done one spread so far using uh, the nine by 12, but I am enjoying that it's not, like I have to think a little bit more. It's not just, I can't just go to my desk and print out seven four by six photos and you know, kind of figure it out that way. I have to kind of map it out a little bit and I'm enjoying that change. So the photos, you can see that I only have a couple four by six and then I've included several, um, three by fours. And what I've noticed with my photos is a lot of them can be cropped down to a three by four and still keep the feeling that I'm going for with the photo. So anyways, let's just jump in and get started and uh, see where this spread turns out. All right, you guys. So just jumping in. The first thing that I'm gonna do is cut up my photos. So if you've been around for a while or if you've seen some of my videos, you know that this is typically the first thing that I do is kind of deal with the photos and put the photos in place. So these photos were printed together using Lightroom. I do have a video showing how I did this so that I'm able to just make one cut and have the border be completely even. So if you're interested in that, I will have that uh, linked in the cards. And you can see now that I'm actually looking through the design cards. So this is a little bit of a departure. I haven't put any of my other uh, photos down, which is what I typically do. I just mentioned that, but because this, because of this design, um, I want to make sure that I get certain things in. So I know that I wanted to include that quote and also the heart card. And then I'm going to put my photos down. So this was a little bit, I, I wouldn't say this was a challenge, but since I moved to a nine by 12 and I have been using 12 by 12, gosh, it's been, well, since 2013. So that's what, eight years since I've been doing Project Life and for the most part during those eight years, I really was using only the design A. So it had, you know, the eight four by six pockets and then eight three by four pockets. So I was using that primarily. I mean, I did mix it up a little bit and by a little bit, I mean like a handful of times. So I've really had to rethink when I'm on my computer and I'm looking through my photos, I really had to rethink how I wanted to add my photos. So I feel like I need to be more planned. I need to know exactly what I wanna do with my photos so that I'm not wasting photo paper. Because if I'm just gonna print, you know, if I end up printing six four by six photos because I have six spots for photos that are four by six, then I may end up cutting those down to three by fours and then I may end up, you know, just wasting paper, which I definitely don't want to do. So I feel like I had to make more of a map this go around and 
really decide how I wanted to um, design this. So there was a little bit more design in that I was thinking, okay, I will have this many journal cards, this many photos, and this many design cards. So that's kind of what I was thinking, you know, after I had looked at the kit and kind of figured out how I wanted to do things. So you saw that I went ahead and I used Allie Edwards inks. This was the green and the um, yellow ink and all of this stuff I will definitely have linked below. I used the stamp around here and I wanted to do um, an around here list. So in the cards, and you'll see that coming up, there was a four by six card in the kit that said around here. And I could have just gone ahead and used that and maybe used it in one of the four by six spots, or I could have even cut it up. But I liked how the around here in the stamp was a little bit smaller and I wanted it to look like that. And I thought that it would be nice kind of dividing that journaling up. So I went ahead and I just made two of those. I thought about making three, but I did have another photo that I wanted to use instead. And in the end, I, I could have done it. I ended up adding um, another one of the quote cards. So I, I definitely could have added another one of those around here. But ultimately, at the end of it, I realized I had all of the journaling and I had all the stories that I wanted to tell. So I didn't feel like I needed to do another around here card. But I definitely could have done that. I think that that would have uh, just added to the design by having... Uh, three elements that were all the same but ultimately I just decided that I didn't really have anything more to say and I didn't want to you know push it so I just did the two then I thought it would be really cool to add a list so to have three things on each of the cards and I took a I think this is a fourth of an inch circle this punch I've had for a really long time. I honestly can't even remember the brand. I know that they've got punches out there that size though. And I just went ahead and I cut it out and I cut it so that it was kind of off of the edge so that it had a straight edge so that I could just adhere it onto the card. And I really loved how that turned out and I loved the different colors. So, and I will say, I think it's sometimes easier to do journaling this way when you're doing it in a list opposed to you know trying to write an entire paragraph because I didn't I didn't feel like I needed to say a ton there was more just like points that I wanted to make from uh, the week especially because I am doing my own journaling in uh, a journal that I keep it's kind of like a memory journal slash planner. I have shared that before. If you're interested, I can also have that linked in the cards as well. You can go ahead and check that out. But I feel like I'm getting a lot of journaling in. So I didn't feel like I needed to add tons and tons of journaling about how I was feeling about this because I know that I had definitely um, exhausted how I was feeling uh, about this move. So I just went ahead and did the kind of the six bullet points and I really love how that turned out. But if you're gonna do something similar, I think it would be really great to add a third one and then to add, you know, the number seven, eight, and nine. I just, I really do think that that would add to the design of it. All right, so because I have, and you have you saw me do this a couple times already, I think, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I haven't done that to any other card, but, because I now have some four by six spots that where I'm using three by four um, cards and photos, I need to kind of stick them together. So I went ahead and just used some washi tape to stick them together. I have found it's a lot easier to do that. It allows, you know, it's it um, goes into the pocket easier and doesn't move around and doesn't fall out. So you definitely want to kind of stick those together, but that will allow you to add more three by fours if you you know have less four by sixes that you want to add to your pockets. Another thing that I have realized in changing size is I really do have a lot that I want to say per each week. I love telling a lot of stories and I love sharing a lot of photos. So I realize this is definitely going to be a challenge for me. I do love the smaller size. I love that it's got me thinking about the design a little bit differently, but ultimately it is going to be a challenge as 
Um, I'm trying, you know, trying to pare down the stories that I want to tell because I feel like there's a lot from each week, which is one of the reasons why I have not gone to monthly because I still feel like I have tons and tons of stories that I want to tell per week. And I just, I really love the weekly format. So I'm interested, are you guys doing weekly or are you guys doing monthly? All right, so you can see that I'm putting down some of the elements. I'm putting down some of the chipboard. There was this um, great sticker sheet. So they were like cardstock stickers, definitely a little bit thicker. Uh, I really wanted to make this sticker that I'm working with right now. It says, hello life. I wanted to make it a little bit thinner. I felt like that yellow was just a little too thick for what I wanted. So in order to get it straight, I'm just using my cutter to kind of help me get it straight. And I was trying to get it as even as possible. I'm sure it's not 100% even, but that's fine. Just so that it looks a little bit more even um, than it was. And then on the stickers, I'm adding a little bit of foam tape on the back just to give it a little bit added dimension. Another reason I really love to do that is it allows me to put... Uh, the element on the photo or the sticker on the photo without having to stick it down and totally commit. Uh, you guys know me and you know that I like to take my time in committing. So sometimes, uh, sometimes I really like to just be able to put it there first. So that is a great option is to use some um, foam tape. All right, so I finally finished that last journaling. I kind of struggled with exactly what I wanted to say. Ultimately, I was just super happy that the election cycle was over. So I'm just about done here. I'm gonna continue to add some of the elements, stick, um, you know, sticking them down and figuring out exactly where I wanna go. I felt like a lot of the pieces I could have put on a variety of photos, so that's why you can kind of see me going back and forth and trying to decide what I wanted to say. I really loved the sticker that said, um, well, it's the one I'm working on right now. It says letting go of what I don't need, which was perfect for this move because I felt like we ended up um, getting rid of and um, letting go of a lot of stuff. So then again, that also, um, the chipboard that said less is more was, I thought, perfect for this week as well. So like I said at the very beginning, one of the things I want you guys to realize when using these story kits, this is definitely a March themed story kit, but you can use it for any week in Project Life. You can use it for any story that you've got going on. You don't have to keep it to a March theme. You can see that I intentionally did not include any of the cards that had March on them because I'm using it in January. And I think I just want to really show you guys the versatility of these kits and that you can really use them for whatever story you have in mind. And it just ended up working out. I, I don't even think I did it intentionally. I was just like, I will work on week three and it just ended up working out perfect for this week. Some of the sentiments, you can tell that it is, you know, some of those chipboards about letting go of what's not, um, I think it said of what's not meant for me or something like that. But that, I think it has a lot to do with like spring cleaning and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm sure that that's what those cards were intended for, but it just worked perfect with my move and, you know, paring down and getting rid of stuff. Now I still need to go through my studio. That is something that's been on my to-do list for the past six months, and I am committed to getting it done before uh, the summer hits because I really need to, I mean, I just don't have as much room and I need to pare stuff down and, I just have things that I'm, you know, not going to use anymore. They're not my style or they're just not speaking to me. And so it is time to move them along. And I know that it will feel really great because I did that with my closet. Um, even though I had pared down my closet before I moved in July, I did it again when I moved into this house and it really, it honestly felt so good to do. So I know it's going to feel really great in my studio and it's going to, uh, free up some space for some other things. So definitely look for a giveaway or I'll probably sell a few things. Look for that coming up if you are interested because I am going to be getting rid of a, a lot of stuff. 
I just, it's something that I need to do. So are you guys the same? Do you guys have to get rid of a lot of stuff? Are you holding on to things, hoping that you'll use them again, or do you get rid of them right away? I am trying to, like when I work on a kit, I try to get rid of it. Like I'm trying to move it along right away, knowing that it's not something that I will use again, or if it is, then I will store it. So I'm trying to do that in the moment, but you know, it's still something that I'm working on. All right, so I'm moving on to the title card and you can see the title card is gonna be a three by four this week, which is a little bit different. I feel like it's just gonna be whatever is available to me, that is what I'm gonna use. So I was gonna actually do a traditional uh, title card where I just added the dates, but I really liked that circle chipboard for a couple of reasons. I liked the sentiment. I liked that it was a circle and it kind of played with the other circles in uh, the layout. You can see the circle in the photo, like the circle mirror with my daughter, and then that picture of me at the bottom at the very end. That arc kind of looks like a circle, and then you've got the chipboard, so it kind of played with that. I also like that it added another piece of yellow um, you can see all the little pieces of yellow in the spread. So I like that it added that as well. So what I ended up deciding to do is instead of uh, stamping out the dates like I normally do, I decided to go ahead and write it out. Now I will admit that this is not my favorite title page ever. I think it probably had something to do with writing it out instead of stamping the date. But I really did like how the element, the circle element and the yellow kind of played with the other elements in the spread. I just thought it looked really great together. So anyways, that is going to be it. I just put the remainder of the stickers and the chipboard on and then I am done with this spread. I was a little bummed at the end when I realized I forgot the heart brads. I wanted to put them in, but that is something that I will save for another week. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there as I was moving and life has been crazy, but I'm back. So you guys, we will see you in the next one. Bye.